So I've been getting a lot of messages lately about how I got started on my fitness journey and how I got to where I am today. And to answer that question, right here on a park bench, just like this, uh, when I was younger, when I was you know, getting into workouts, my dad would force me to go on runs. And along those runs, every time we saw a park bench like this, we would do a little circuit and it consisted of three exercises. First one was push-ups, second one was dips, and then the third one was a step up or a box jump off of the bench. And it was this foundation that allowed me to build off of and get to where I am now. And just like any foundation that you're building on top of, you want it to be a strong one. And I'm a firm believer in having a strong foundation when it comes to mastery of body weight. You don't have to be a crazy, you know, gymnast or anything like that, being able to do back flips, handstand push-ups, or, you know, anything crazy like that. But to have the basics down, a basic push-up, a basic body weight squat, and a basic, you know, pull-up, that won't be in today's workout. But to have a basic understanding of these movements and to be proficient in, you can go into the gym knowing that when you touch the weights that you've mastered your own body weight. So that's what we're gonna do today. Before we even get on the bench, again, I do this during my runs, but as a warm up, it's always best to get in 10 to 15 minutes of cardio to get that body um, temperature elevated, to get those muscles ready to overload them. So today's workout, we're gonna be doing push-ups, dips, and step-ups or box jumps, okay? Now, you might not have the highest bench in the world, and that's where it comes down to making the most of your situation. The muscles at the end of the day don't know what they're doing. They don't know how much they're lifting or how difficult something is. It's your job to make it difficult, okay? So if you don't have the highest bench today, we're gonna get more explosive with it. We're gonna find ways to make the movements harder, and I'll help you out with that. So, rep ranges. If you're a beginner, we're gonna be doing 10 reps of everything, okay? 10 reps of push-ups, 10 reps of dips, 10 reps of step-ups, okay? Advanced, we're going 20 reps of everything, okay? So 20 reps push-ups, 20 reps of dips, 20 reps of step-ups, step okay? So you can tweak those rep ranges as much as you need to. Don't think because you're a beginner and you wanna try and push yourself, you have to go straight to 20. No, start with 15, start with 12. And then that's the beauty of this workout. You just add reps as needed because you guys know yourselves best when it comes to pushing yourselves, okay? So that's the beauty of this. Rest times, it's intuitive. The goal is to take as little rest in between as possible to get through your rounds. In this case, we're going for five, okay? Five of each. So let's do this. Good old reliable right here. So right here, guys, you already heard me. We're knocking out push-ups. Chest to deck here, coming all the way down. Even more importantly, all the way up. When I get up here, I'm not stopping halfway. I wanna make sure I lock out my arms. That's gonna make sure that I get full activation of the chest and the triceps during this exercise, okay? Beginners, we got 10 here, advanced. We're going 20. Now, we talked about the upper body here, but what about the core and lower body? I'm drawing in my belly button to make sure that my core stays active and I'm engaging my glutes, my hips, so that I'm not dipping at the lower back. This is what we don't want, right? This is humping the ground, humping the bench, hollow it out, engage that core muscle. It should feel like a plank. If you guys aren't doing planks already, definitely a 10 out of 10, recommend. Now, advanced guys, if this off the bench is too easy for 20, don't add more reps yet. We're gonna flip it around, okay? We're gonna put our feet up here and we're gonna take it into a decline like so. Feet up, hands in the dirt because we don't mind, right? We're gritty here, but same exact cues apply. I'm drawing my belly button in, glutes engage, so I'm not like this, and I'm getting that chest to the ground, okay? Chest to ground. Overloading the muscles, all of a sudden, my chest is lifting a lot more weight. At the end of the day, the body doesn't know what weight it's lifting, how much it's lifting, it just knows how hard it's working, okay? Now, we knocked out our push-ups, hitting the triceps now. We're gonna place our butt on the bench, hands right outside the hips, and walk it out for bench dips, all right? Dropping the butt to the ground, locking out at the top. The more advanced you are, we're gonna want our legs further out in front of us, like so. My beginners, you guys are just, uh, just gonna bring them in like so, feet closer to you. Beginners, this is gonna make it easier for you guys. Why? Because we could drive through those legs now to get those reps in, okay? Again, your triceps are gonna be smoked here. So, as you get tired, don't stop. Overload it, bring it in. Always regress before just giving up, okay? Because we got 20 here. After the 20 there, last but not least, giving the upper body a break. We're gonna burn out the lower body. I'm gonna place my foot on the bench, driving up 
and through for that explosive bench hop. I like to think of my hips as a glass of water, okay? Hips are staying underneath the shoulders the entire time as I step up and through. They're not splaying out to the side and rocking all over the place. Nice and centered. Now posture. You guys should be proud of what you're doing. Because of that, I want strong posture here. No hunchback, no leaning forward, tall torso, core is engaged, coming up and through. Now we got 10 reps for the beginners on each side. If you're advanced, we got 20. Now, this is too hard, that's okay. Take out the hop, step it up instead. The body doesn't know how much weight it's moving, it just knows if you're pushing yourself or not. So, this is where I started, right? Everything starts from a step up. Everything starts from a squat. If you can't do the explosive stuff yet, no worries. Just like a fire, you start with a small ember, you start with a stepping stone, and over time, that fire grows until it consumes everything in its path. And before you know it, you guys are progressed to that final stage. So you got five rounds of that, okay? That was one. We're gonna jump right back into it and kick things off with that push-up. As always, don't just give up. If you need to, make it easier first. Keep pushing through that burn, that discomfort, and get right back to it. And there you guys have it. Simple but effective workout. And that's all it is at the end of the day. Being brutal, your body, again, doesn't know what weight it's moving, how much it's moving. It just knows if it's being challenged or not. And on that note, tag me on Instagram at Fit to the Wristin if you guys do this workout. I would love to see you guys getting after it. Uh, I think it's stronger together. You hear me say that all the time. And that's exactly why this video is here for you guys. For those of you asking where we started, how you can get started, this one's for you guys. And comment down below. Do you guys have access to a park like this, to a bench? If not, what is in your area? What do you have access to? Because we'd love to touch up on that and see how we can get after it together with what you got. We're a product of our environment and if we feel like we don't have what we need, we can use our imaginations and find a way around it to get to where we want to go. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Easy day. Whew.